now. And, you know, I, I can't even comprehend what you're going through or what his family's going through. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I just was looking forward to, to doing an interview with him and getting his story. Um, you know, but it's one of those things, man, like the longer you do it, the more you unfortunately have to see this type of thing. Yeah, no, it's heartbroken, you know, especially from from me and my side and my team, just this person affecting me. Just been doing the music and just doing this management and doing being executive. Dealing with Melly's situation, been dealing with this situation, dealing with a lot of my artists' situation. It just made me just sit down and realize, like, yo, I gotta work harder. I gotta work smarter to give some of these guys a better outlet to where they don't have to put themselves in those predicaments. Maybe change the clubs. Maybe take less bookings on shows that's yeah. not as effective. So now I'm trying to, I'm really rebranding my mind so I don't have, it's not like you can't just come and say, yo, I need a show for this month and I'm just going to step it out. Like, I'm going to look at it and break it down and see if it's going to benef- benefit the artists as much as their security, uh, guard. It just got to make sense because I think artists are a big target. Yeah, big target. Yeah. I'm like, damn, 
Here's the titties I'm sucking now, and the titties I used to suck. Oh, and then we <laughs> it. Yeah, it, 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 it was a drip, it was great. Hey, uh, we will get a drip. Is your mom like her? <laughs> my mom, listen, my mom is 77 years old. At the end of the day, she just wants me to be happy. So I can, I can be with a uh, beautiful bitch, and she don't care. As long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. So she must be the one if you let her take pictures with mom, right, Michael? You know what? She's, um... I mean, right, yeah, I think she's a fun. I wonder if that's the she is. She's a lot of fun. You know, she don't give me a headache. She don't bother me. She don't stress me out. <laughs> and that's important for a man, you know. And she's not doing her job. Great yeah. answer. That's why you single, <laughs> Angie. <laughs> what, what race is she, Michael? Cambodian, he said. The Cambodian. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, you said that you're doing the podcast, right, because you want to talk about current events. Why not do a stand-up special? What do you mean, my podcast? No, like, why oh, not? Why, why, the podcast, why the podcast overdoing a special or something? Um, it's not, it's not like a bunch of warming mothers sitting there and just talking about sh- nothing. You know, man, I'm not sure. Because I'm must stand up, I'm all about punchline punch. I don't like my hopeless to go 20 seconds without a joke. I mean, you come to you come to see me live in 30 minutes, you will get at least 60 jokes in 30 minutes. So, I mean, but I'm learning, it's, it's learning, it's teaching me how to like kind of tell a story and you know, increase the punchline later. So, I think it's going to definitely make me a better comic. So what made you decide to even want to do a podcast, being that you don't really listen to them and you like your um, I was pressured into it, you know, uh, a lot of my friends say, hey, Mike, you should do a podcast. I mean, they go on my life and, you know, I'm always just talking crazy and talking even silly. So I, I think my friends kind of like push me in that direction. So hopefully it works out. Now we've seen you in uh, Coming to America too. I have an appearance. It's, it's, my scene here is it's longer than Ember with those ponytail, okay? It's, it's, it's also bigger than next Friday. I'm excited about coming to America, too. I actually saw the whole movie, you know. Uh, and a lot of time you do a movie, you don't want to talk about it much, especially if you're not a main, you're not a main character or close to the main character, because, you know, your shit get edited out. People get edited all the time. So I finally saw it. Uh, you know, my scene is in there. Um, some people were edited, kind of pissed me off, but it's one big scene where it becomes like my scene and it's in front of everybody, Eddie and the whole crew, and it's, it's a point I get to shine. So I'm excited about it. It's a great movie. You're going to love it. Uh, I got to give a big shout out to my girl, Leslie. You know, I wrote Leslie all the time, but Leslie to me actually stole the movie. Leslie so, Jones? Leslie Jones. Yes. Interesting. I saw it. We saw it. Let me see it. Oh, yeah, I did see it. I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay, show, show them in that scene. Uh, can, can you send me a copy? <laughs> you don't have it? You ain't let you ain't let your Chinese best friend see nah, it? It's one of them that didn't give me a copy yet. Nah, I can tell. Every time I talk question, we end up on fucking social media. So I can tell this thing that shit is, 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 is done. Mike, I got 50,000 followers. Nobody cares about me. People do care about you. I know. Well, being that Christian is your Chinese best friend, do you have other friend, other Chinese friends too? Me? Yeah, yeah, I have a few friends. Now you guys are my friends. You are the means of my friends because these are boss. I'm not your boss, I'm your partner. <laughs> Uh, that's that's what I'm talking about, man. Appreciate- hey, congratulations on that. Um, thanks for having me on board. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think my producers got in touch with uh, I forgot the girl's name is Dolly. Dolly Bishop. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And I think I met her um during like the whole Wild and Out. Wild and Out. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, that. You can't yeah. have the black effect without having Michael Black and Black ass on it. Of course not. Thank you. Hey y'all, is, is there any more, any like anything else y'all got plans to do? You and Christian, like Rush Hour Four, maybe? <laughs> yeah, they don't, I think they're only like five. No, not doing it three Rush Hour Four. No, no, it's potentially I'm, I'm looking to do maybe a reality sitcom because you know this dude is just to me just naturally funny without trying to be funny. He's he's the funniest person I know on earth. We haven't we haven't we haven't felt that yet. Yeah, he says a lot. 
probably nervous. Come on, you're looking at Sherman J- Jermaine Jackson, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, a little nervous. I've never been in a radio station before. See, that's okay. a radio station. Uh, we got a friend. So you guys are interviewing people also on the podcast? Yes, we are. And I'm not being like a hey, list for that group of interviews, you know, that I'm going to me up and say, hey, Give me your wish list and be what you want. I said, I'm not into A list. I'm more into like F to, to Z list. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said F to Z list. So, I mean, now, Christian, how Michael's breath smell right now? Uh, it smells like uh, African tea. He's drinking some tea right now. Got you, got you, got you. How do you hope this podcast will change your your, your career, Christian? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got your real winner there, Mike. <laughs> yes, yes. For him, this is just a trying air for him. This is just some. He just is a hobby. This is, he's not looking to be no fucking television guy. Are you getting paid? Of course, he's getting hours. Yeah, I'm making money. Christian, Christian, have you got paid? No, Mike only pays me in liquor. <laughs> 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 Every time I bring him up, he gives me liquor and clothes. Yeah, yeah. Jerry Brand called him coronavirus. 
and insulted him on the court. And this whole discussion about racism against Asian people has come up. Is that something, a topic you guys would talk about? Uh, you know what? Usually I would have him do research on what's current, you know, because I'm, I'm actually too busy to do research. And then I'll try to look at him and uh, make a joke about it. But yeah, I'm about that. Thank you so much for letting us know. What? <laughs> it's a good topic. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Mike, I think your, your Wi Fi might be delayed. Mike's Wi Fi. Is it delayed? No. Uh, the only so delay on this interview is you, Christian. <laughs> you don't know, really. <laughs> so, uh, the Mars Rover has better Wi Fi than Michael Blackson. The Mars Rover. <laughs> so it's, what? Well, all right, right. Yeah, we that. Christian and Michael Blackson, I can't wait for this podcast. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be a great one. Make sure you subscribe to the No Filter Podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio Podcast Network, available everywhere you listen to podcasts. It's out, it's out today. All right. Christian, Christian, who's your favorite rapper, Christian? Uh, my favorite rapper is uh, uh, that guy Drake that looks like you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Drake don't got that beard though, Christian. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he does. He does know. Oh, Drake's is real though. Uh, my, my, mine is real, Christian. Don't listen, don't listen. Michael, you think Envy being real? What? Nah, it looks like uh, it probably is like some gorilla glue shit. Bye, <laughs> 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 y'all. Uh, Christian, Michael Blackson is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. They tried to overturn an election. We're gonna fight like hell.
How the fuck you get my hit? <coughs> Damn it. I got my hit. Go. No goddamn what I want it now. Thank you. 